we're at the beach. A nice chat with the fella there. Talking about his trips in North Queensland. And we're going for some beach ones today. Got me crocs, as usual. And this time I've got pliers. I normally go by hand, but not very successful either way. So give it a shot of pliers. All right. Let's drop everything in. And I've got an old herring I've got from the jetty, as you've probably seen from the previous videos. And I've got some pillies. Normally go by hand, but decided to try some pliers, see how they are. I don't know if they're going to do me one better than uh, using my fingers, but got to give everything a shot. So at the moment, I'm starting a little bit further up the beach rather than go straight up as close as I can. You'll find that the worms this, they're always at the front and at the moment the tide's dropping down I think it's going to a 0.3 and at the moment it's 0.6 so that might be one ah that's a 50 think about the beach ones you don't need to be right in front of the breakers to think that most of the big ones are there of course there are quite a lot of worms around that region but most of your good worms all right, now we're trying the pliers. Going to see if that has any good effect. Flick some of this. Ouch. Now only pop the head on up and down. So don't expect a V-shape to stay there for the entire time. We've just got two worms right here. One to the left, one to the right. Now, I've got two shots. Well, kind of common sense. I need to be patient and wait for the waves to recede a little bit more. I can get him. Give my shadow away from him for now. Jeez, when did the waves get this big? They're around here somewhere. Oh, slipped out the pliers. Didn't want to snap his head off. It's alright. Oh, he was shy was one in. There he is. Got him. Oh. Oh, broke him off. Getting a few. Pulled a few heads with the pliers. So let's go back to the traditional fingers. That's a nice one, pinky. Let's see how much he's digging his head out. Oh, I slipped out. Mullet. Out. Got a nice worm here. Just broke up on me. Let's see, I'm pretty amateur at catching worms. I can sort of get the smaller ones, but those king worms, yeah, they'll, they're a bit nastier for me. See, I've got another pinky, but I broke him off. And clip. Dig, dig, dig. This is a smaller one, not as big, but he'll do. Don't bite me, worm. So yeah, you normally want a bit of a higher wave like this, and the distance between the second wave. So you want your two breakers pretty far apart, so at least you get a couple seconds to go for the worm if you see one. I'm moving a bit to the left, just to get away from these shells. Well, there's still got to be shells here, but at least it looks a bit more clearer. And most of them are actually probably crabs. 
So we've got two types of beach worms. We've got the green head and the pinky. Now your green ones are more of your thicker ones, but they're not as long. And you've got your pinkies, which are your thin ones, are extremely long. Pinkies you can tell with the white head and those greenies, the ones with the bigger heads, normally the ones with the little coloration. And it looks like there's a spike on either side of its head. So you often find that the worms, they don't always keep the heads up unless they're super hungry. Most of them actually dip their heads up and down. The ones that don't really get their heads to stay on as often, they're pretty shy. You can still catch them, just gotta be quick. Oh, those head dips. Uh, pretty hard when you've got shells. Just gotta keep your eyes open and scan the floor at all times. When the wave recedes, it'll bring out the scent. And now keep an eye out. If there are any heads popping up and down. a nice worm you get that camera all right I've got what three whole worms and probably three separate parts so not bad day with the beach worms catch you in the next one